I'd like to introduce you to Bramble. She is our new uh, Border Terrier Federation uh, dog who is going to go across the three schools within our Federation to work with and support our young people with their cognitive development, particularly in reading, and so she'll be listening to young people reading. There's lots of evidence about how dogs help young people with their confidence with reading because they're non-judgmental, -judge and also she's going to help young people with their emotional development um, in supporting them with anxieties, etc. So she's very much going to be part of the school's community and will be visiting the uh, schools and have a timetable. And as, as she's a puppy at the moment, obviously her, her timetable will be slightly limited because she needs quite a lot of rest time. Uh, so she's, she grows, but she's not going to be very big when she's fully grown. She'll just be a little bit bigger than a cat. So she will be able to sit on children's laps and um, listen to them read. And uh, we're hoping that everybody is going to be really welcoming of her. Um, yeah, I think it's really good for the primary school students and to bring the Federation together. Really positive addition to the Federation, yeah. Yeah, and like Zippy said, I think it's good for the Federation because it creates another strong bond between our three schools. So, it's, I think it's a really good <laughs> idea, yeah. I'm here with Stanley Housley, um, who's managed to get down to the last two of his auditions uh, for GodTech, uh, which starts filming soon. So congratulations, Stanley. Tell us a little bit about the process. So, um, a couple months ago, uh, back in November, we were sent an option to do a self-tape, and in December we recorded it and sent it over. Then they told us we had been shortlisted and told us that we'd hear more. We found out and we got sent to South End to do an in-person audition with the director himself and a casting crew. We got down there and we got told that we had got one out of two or three people. And as we got there, we were given a script that we had to learn and we rehearsed it and we performed it in front of the director and all they did was ask us a few questions and tell us more later. So you're going to hear very shortly. So I think, Stanley, if we can catch up with you uh, when we hear on news um, and we'll have an update for everyone. Yep. Thursday is World Book Day. There will be a competition throughout the week with a book spy competition on the day itself when you'll be tasked with finding as many book names as possible that staff will be wearing on their lanyards. And yes, there will be prizes. Year 7 will also be having a special celebratory World Book Day lesson. Congratulations to our National Citizenship Service pupils. Thanks to you, the school has won bronze for the third year in a row in recognition of its dedication to promoting the scheme. Year 11s, have you signed up yet? It's National Careers Week. Make sure you speak to our careers advisor Jackie through you Explore for advice and guidance to support you in making the right choices for your future. Selected Next Step Southwest Year 10 students were introduced to an e-mentoring programme last week. Students are paired with an online mentor who is currently at uni to ask questions and get support with their future choices. Word of the week time now. Look at this image. What word does it represent? Take a look at the list. See if you can work out which word it is. This week you will be awarded Connections House Points for using the word in writing or speaking in lessons. 